Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. My name's Cody. Let's go ahead and get started. So today we have sort of a structural mechanics type of problem, and we're going to be talking about the relationship between stress and strain. Uh, here's what the question says. Label the points 1 through 5 on the following stress versus strain, strain diagram, uh, and then we see our five options that are available to us, and then we see our diagram with uh, the different points that we're going to be talking about for this guy. And essentially what it wants us to do is label each A through E with the corresponding number uh, that will reflect that uh, description. So hopefully that kind of makes sense. This is sometimes what they'll do on the exam is they'll give you sort of text boxes right here uh, and you will have to fill out what those text boxes are or uh, sometimes even type it out. Uh, you'll just have to know it off the top of your head. They won't give you an answer bank. So. Uh, understand this problem uh, make sure you study this one for your exams your FE or PE exams very important information for you to know um, okay so to start off uh, something that I want to point out here is this one does not include a proportional limit uh, sometimes they may not but that's going to be right before your elastic limit uh, that's the point where this uh, graph right here is no longer linear so we notice that at a certain point it starts to turn and um, that is your proportional limit. It's kind of hard to see on this on this one. So point A is actually your elastic limit. That is the point where, let's pretend we're stretching a rubber band here. Uh, if you stretch that rubber band enough, it will no longer be the same size as it was before. Same thing here. Uh, you are transitioning from you are transitioning from elastic to plastic. So you, elastic basically means you can bounce back to your original shape. Whereas plastic means that you're going to keep stretching. You will no longer be able to go back to that original shape. So this one right here, A, is going to be 4. Uh, and then we see B. What is that guy? Well, that's your yield point. That is the point where your material starts to yield a little bit, and then it kind of gains strength again. Uh, so that one's going to be B. That's your yield point. That's 5. C is your lower yield point. So that one's going to be 2. D is your ultimate strength or your ultimate stress point. So that one's going to be one. That's as strong as your material will get. And then at a certain point, your material will actually rupture. And that is called your rupture point. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, so I hope this video helps and we'll catch you next time.